Hidden Figures. Phenomenal, phenomenal movie, and I want to tell you why I loved it so much. Now, I know it's been out for a long time, but my wife and I just finally watched it recently. Uh, picked it up at Redbox, so if you haven't seen it, this is my recommendation at the outset of this movie to go check it out. Okay, if you're unfamiliar with what Hidden Figures is, um, Hidden Figures is a movie that shares the story of America's space race with Russia. And essentially, it, this is a civil rights story. There's a dual meaning in the term hidden figures. Hidden figures, A, refers to bringing to light the heroes of the space race, which are uh, in the story and historically, um, these African-American women who are working for NASA but are kind of second-class citizens. They're called computers, uh, not the machine computer, but humans that do computations, that calculate, uh, you know, the trajectories and things that are needed to get a man into space. But the pace is too slow. The, they're unable to accomplish what they're trying to do because they're working with old data, so it's always outdated. Now, the the cast is phenomenal, and you've seen a few of them before if you've watched The Help, uh, you've seen one. If you have watched Person of Interest, Detective Carter from that, is one of the main characters in this, it, it's easy to fall in love with these characters. They, they portray them as someone that you would want to spend time with, someone you would want to hang out with, and definitely very, very qualified individuals, but they're facing still kind of this latent, you know, cultural and, uh, and institutional racism, you know, where they, they have to use a separate coffee pot and, you know, they work in this annex at NASA that's off to the side and, um, they can't use the same bathrooms as the people that they're working with, etc. And so, Going into this movie, you may expect this to be somewhat like, you know, like The Help, for example, and you may expect it to be just <laughs> an, a white guilt-inducing film, but that's not what this is. I, I think they played it perfectly. They, they told the story, and they told it in a way that m portrayed it l like the, the white people involved got it. They figured it out. They realized, we need these people. We need these women. So, you know, fighting against two stereotypes here, gender and race, and their ability to break through those barriers and make the difference in getting America a, a step forward in the space race. Okay, so maybe that's a spoiler alert, maybe not. It's a part of history, an American history, I wasn't familiar with, and I thought it was phenomenal. They, they played the line between kind of a racial tension film and a historical drama perfectly, and it was well acted, it was well scripted, I felt like I was transported to that time because the costumes, the sets, everything was just phenomenal. And in the mix, kind of a, a subset of the storyline is that uh, they're introducing a machine computer, the IBM. They introduce the machine computer and so it's this tension, you know, are they going to lose their jobs because this new machine is replacing them? So a very kind of complex storyline, excellent acting done by everyone involved, and it's a movie that you come away from inspired, uplifted, and you don't walk away with that sense of guilt that I was referring to before that I've gotten from some other movies that really seem to have an agenda of, you know, not, not I don't want to say race baiting, but you know, trying to, trying to make everyone feel like they're responsible for the actions of a few decades ago. This one doesn't do that. So I know that there were very serious things going on at the time, but 
NASA, at least, was very forward-thinking out of necessity. But because they realized that, it made all the difference. Phenomenal movie. Go check it out if you haven't, if any of this has interested you. Historical drama, there are moments of comedy. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of a heartwarming film. So go check it out. Okay, subscribe to this channel by clicking over here. And on this side, check out some of the other movies that I've reviewed and other videos that I've made. Thanks.